On arriving to the sales point, we try to park the car as close as possible to the entrance and preferably within the CCTV field of view. We request data on the remaining goods and ingredients online. According to the collected data, we gather and put goods in a bag. First we put the goods for the sixth, the lowest shelf in the snack machine, then the goods for the fifth one, and then in turn for the other shelves. The last portion of goods is for the first highest shelf. We take some change and the paper with the machine number from the safe. We lock the safe with a key. We also lock the car with a key. Servicing of Rosa Bar starts with the snack part. We open the vending machine. We insert the service key into the connector. In order to get into the service menu, we press the button Operator. Using the buttons on the front panel, we get to the option of resetting the motors to their initial position. We reset the motors to their initial position. We use the online data to check whether there have been problems with cells. We check whether the springs are set at the correct angle. If needed, we adjust the angle at which the springs are set. We get to the servicing of the snack part. First we wipe the top of the vending machine. We pull out the top shelf. We count the remaining products and enter the data in the tablet. We check the product's expiry dates. Then, starting with the top shelf, we pull out shelves one after another, we count the remaining products and check their expiry dates. We block the products with the spring, we raise the spring and wipe each cell on the shelf. We load the cells with products in accordance with the planogram. We carefully push the shelf back in place. Then we follow the same procedure with every shelf. Then we check whether there are all the price tags and whether they match the products. If a price tag is not correct, we replace it with the correct one. After having loaded the snack machine with products, we wipe the slot of release. After the slot of release, we clean the glass of the showcase on both sides with some window cleaner. There should not be any stains on the glass. We get to the coffee part of Rosa Bar. We open the door and carefully move aside the block with the slot of release for beverages. We tap on hoppers to see the amount of the remaining ingredients. We enter the data on what is left in the tablet. We put on hygienic gloves and clean our hands with some sanitizer. We feed the ingredients in the hoppers of the vending machine in, in accordance with names of products. We fill the tubes with plastic cups. We enter the data on how much we have fed in the tablet. We start the cleaning of the coffee part of Rosa Bar. We wipe the lid of the block. We turn the spouts of the ingredients supply upwards. We slightly lift the hoppers and wipe the space under them. We clean the central unit with a small brush. 
Pressing the button cleaning, we enter the menu of cleaning the mixes. Pressing the buttons on the outer panel, we switch on the cleaning of all the mixes. We carefully remove tubes from the mixes. In the same careful manner, we remove the mixes except for the rightmost one. We switch on the cleaning of the mixer which has been left in its place. We wash the removed mixes under hot water. We carefully put the removed mixes back in place. Now we remove the rightmost mixer, the grate and the drip catcher tray of the slot of release for beverages. Switch on the cleaning of the first mixer and wash all the removed parts under hot water. We wipe all the parts and carefully put them back in place. Then we need to thoroughly wipe the non-removable parts of the slot of release so that there are no drops from drinks on them. Carefully turn the spouts of the ingredient supply downwards. We put the block and the slot of release for beverages back in place. We press the button test. We concoct a test mochaccino to make sure that all the mechanisms work well. We press the button operator and get out of the menu of test beverages. We carefully move aside the block with a slot of release. We remove the bag placed in the bucket. We remove the bag for residues. We put them together so that residues do not spill out. Then we wipe the bottom of the machine with a tissue. We put a clean bag in the bucket. We put a clean bag for residues. We put the bucket back in place. we get to the collection of money. First we check the indicators of the modem. We make sure that we put a paper with the number of the machine into the money bag. We carefully put coins in the bag. Only when the machine is on do we carefully remove the stacker. We take out the banknotes and put them in the money bag. We carefully put the stacker back in place. We put the money bag into the bag for the remaining ingredients and goods so that it cannot be seen. We check the indicators of the bill acceptor to make sure that the stacker is in good working order. Now we need to feed the machine with change. To do that, we press the button operator in the menu. Using the buttons on the front panel, we enter the menu of the mechanical feeding of coins. We feed the change. We put the coins that fell into the slot of change into the bag for change. Using the buttons on the front panel, we make sure we reset the cash credit. We reset the errors of the vending machine.
Using some glass cleaner, we wipe the outer panels of the coffee pot. We get to the photo audit. We enter the application Uvenco coordinate in our tablet. In the list of tasks, we choose the machine we have just serviced and we press on Start. We press the button Add Photos. Then we take photos, one after another, of the machine number, the top of the machine, the upper shelves of the snack part, the lower shelves of the snack part, the slot of release for goods, the snack part with the door closed, the mixes and the central unit, the slots of release for beverages from the outside and from the inside, the door from the inside, then the bucket and the bottom of the machine. We take out the service key. We close the door of the snack pot. We close the door of the coffee pot. We take a photo of the whole of the menu machine so that the bottom, the top and the switched screen of the machine could be seen. We make sure that the snack pot and the coffee pot of the machine are well locked. We check that the indicator of the bill acceptor is green. We go to the car and on the way to the car we do an online check of our machine in its current state for errors. It is vital to put the money in the safe and lock it with a key. We lock the car with a key. We go to another client.